Christy Mahoney. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mrs. Ms. Christy. Not Chris. Ms. anymore. I'm Miss Christine. So, Miss Christine. She goes around the world and she's beautiful. She dances. What is your favorite? Color. I like the color of green. Just like beautiful, like like I the green of like my dad's eyes. Mm -hmm. I love my dad's eyes. They're I love so, that. Yeah, they were so beautiful. They were like the most I've never seen anybody's eyes and I love green eyes, but they were I've never seen anybody's eyes I like my dad's that. eyes. I love so that. I love that. And green. And the green green cheese like the redwoods. They're beautiful mm -hmm. too. And I like pink. I love pink a lot too. Oh, I love pink. I love pink too. Alright, Christine. What is your favorite movie? Yeah. I like Fight Club a lot. Oh yeah. That's it. <laughs> mm, uh, right? Mm-mm. No. Mm, not Fight right. Club? Fight Fight yeah. Fight Club. He's in Fight he's Club. in there, but that's not who I like. Oh, that guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say his name. I'm gonna say his name, but yes. Okay. <clears throat> what is okay? Okay, I'm trying to think of the 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 questions you asked me. So do new questions. Be creative. This is okay. Creation. All right. And I really don't what want to What makes you anyway. nervous? <laughs> this makes me nervous. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> to be quite frank. Right. Um, okay, what makes me really nervous? Because this makes me makes me a little wee bit nervous. Um, mm -hmm. um, I'd say uncomfortable silences. <laughs> <laughs> like, like if you can't answer the question. Like if there's just like people want to say things or you know like I want to say something but I can't get it out and the other person's the same way and we're just in there talking and then we're like it's it's uncomfortable oh because i know no, that feeling yeah i don't like that when, when you yeah. can't <clears throat> talk to the other person because you're you're you have fear in you mm -hmm. and you're not becoming and being vulnerable with each other and that right there is really oh my gosh that brings me a lot of anxiety okay and it okay. makes it worse yeah no i get yeah. that for, yeah, sure. for sure um what is your idea of the perfect romantic evening? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I'm already blushing. <laughs> this doesn't really... take much for Christine. <laughs> okay. Um, All you have to do is smile and wave. No waving. As long just as just a it. smile. I was going to say, is it the smile or is it the eyes? It's the eye contact with the smile that really, mm, can make the romantic evening just right there in itself. <laughs> oh. oh, that's intense. <clears throat> I like that soul to soul, like anything that's soul to soul and mm -hmm. mm, being like, I don't know, just being real with each other and being like, infatuated with each other, you know, or in, or in love with each other is beautiful too. It's, it's even more beautiful, but that's, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. All right, I like soul that. Soul to soul. There soul we go. Soul to soul. There you yeah. go. I want that intimacy. What is but without the, the, without the, the, not, not too much though. <laughs> it can't, it can't be too much. Yeah, I get a little bit, a little bit. Okay. You're going to give and take a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be steps. You got to build, yeah. you know, I'm not like, I'm not, yeah. Definitely. Um. What is it that you find in a man's character um, that makes you really attracted to him? Principles or character? Like, mm, either or. I'll do both then. Okay. <clears throat> and his principles? Oh man, there's so many. <laughs> There's too many. To I know. I wish you would ask me these questions too, because I'm gonna be like, oh, I'll ask you again. I'll ask you other questions. Okay. It took like ten minutes to ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> There's some 
intense yeah. questions. Yeah. But I had to go with like the lighter trauma first and yeah. then get into the deeper trauma with us. Yeah. <laughs> Do the interview. Okay. So let's see. Um, I would say that personality wise, I find a man that is um, book smart is really important. Um, and also, yeah, like, and then also being funny and charming and witty is something like, oh, God, it's hot. And no then wonder also, you and I like the same kind of thing. We do. We do. <laughs> we, do. We, do. we already we already know what's up. <laughs> and mm -hmm. then also um, him being able to show me vulnerability because it's something that I always find really hot in a man. Mm -hmm. Like, like when a guy can cry, it's like, <sighs> mm. Mm. <sighs> Mm. I know. And it's very sexy. And it's because of that vulnerability because I want to be more vulnerable and if he can he can be braver than me. You know, that's what I need is a man that's braver than me because I'm not so brave when it oh, comes to Oh, that's not true. That's not oh, true. I am brave, but just not in that kind of area. And then okay. And then morals and values kind of thing. Um, okay. he has to have uh he can't be dishonest. That's really mm -hmm. important to me. Mm -hmm. And um he has to be, um, hmm. this question's getting too long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting kind of like, it could, it could be so many There's things. so many, like, I, I just don't, don't lie and don't cheat other people and don't, just don't fucking hurt other people. That's it. Yeah. There we go. Just put it bottom line. Yeah. Don't be a person that is capable of hurting other people. Mm hmm Like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Be capable of hurting yourself and let me take care of you. <laughs> you know, like that's yeah. it. Don't like hurt other people. If you hurt yourself, it's one thing, yes. but you can't hurt other people. So yeah, okay, done. Okay. All right. What is your um, spiritual connectable animal? Ooh. <laughs> okay, you can have... I like, I like can wolves have... though too, but I'm not I'm a wolf and a cat. For sure. Yeah, no, you definitely are. Yeah. Okay. Um, for various reasons, cats are spry, they're intelligent, they're independent. Um, they want love when they need love, but when they get love, it's the most intense love you can yeah. get and yes. give. And when we left alone, leave us the fuck alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's exactly why. But it's then like again, almost, I do like it, but then, you know what, also with cats, too, it's like, even if they want to be left alone, and you come and bother them a little bit, then they'll, like, oh, fine, and then they really just enjoy it, like, oh, yes. fine, but I'm not really enjoying this, but, yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Exactly. Yeah, and You're, that's exactly how I am, too. Focus in. <clears throat> that's exactly how I am. Yeah, that's and problem. that's, oops, that's exactly how I feel, too. Like, I always, always say I identify more with a cat than I do with a dog, because, yeah. mm. When I get attention, I don't want it as much as I need it. I would be, I'd I get maybe it. be like, that's not fiction character stuff. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, if you were to be a star, who would you be? Mm. Maybe that's too hardcore of a question because there's really so many good ones. I don't really want to be anybody else, but I will be a. I'll be a nebula. Do you want me to pull it up? No, I got it. Yeah. I got it, Jess. Be um, a nebula. Oh! Yes, I'm talking about that. That's yeah, great. Like, That's you know, really good. I'm like, hmm, Alpha Centauri. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that you chose an actual star. Yeah, I would. Um, I want to be anybody else. I like to be me. I'm, I'm, I'm enough as it is. I can't imagine being somebody else with their own neuroses and things. And, <laughs> And their OCD things, like, uh -huh. I have mine, and just being somebody else's thing, and be, like, super uncomfortable in, I'd be uncomfortable in their skin forever. Right. And the nebula is so vast in the universe, like, and, I mean, and especially the amount of stars out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Star so We're getting up to us, but yes. Yes. Um, okay. Here's... The birthing place of stars. If you were to go to... Let's say, character-wise, I gotta, I gotta stick to your character. Okay. Okay. Which one? What makes you happy in 
day-to-day -day life. Listening to music and singing. I love to sing. Mm. Uh, we, we love to sing. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. It's like, um, <clears throat> it's, it, whatever brings me into flow, which is my higher power. Mm -hmm. So I would say that it, my, um, so since my, my God is flow, then that is whatever it is during the day, and I get a taste of God. And then that, whatever that is that brings me to it, if it's um, playing the bass or the piano or writing or mm -hmm. singing, listening to music or looking at the sky, oh the trees, my God. looking at the yeah. butterflies, enjoying the moment, being in the moment Absolutely. is really good too. Yeah, yeah, so that's what brings me it brings me joy. Oh my god. See you now. Okay. And then fantasizing. I fucking, I'm a big, I, I sit there and I daydream all day long. I'll just sit there and daydream and into to the universe and back. Yes. And, and, it, and let reading. me guess, it distracts you. No, you it needed. helps, it's helped me, help me create myself and also be able to drag in inspiration in order to create. And that's what, it's part of that. It's part of God. It's part of flow. It's my, it's my flow. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, that's what it, it helps assist. It's a, they're tools that I use. Right. For that. Okay. So in essence, <clears throat> for, okay, along the same lines, when you wake up in the morning, okay. what, what is the first thing that comes to your mind to make you want to get out of bed? That, um, I'm really actually very energetic in the morning. I don't even need coffee or anything. So I would say that I wake up and I remember my dreams. I sit there and replay them a bit, play with them. Mm, I then, do that too. I wish I had time to do that all the time. But you do. Just no, I mean, bit earlier. I shouldn't say that I wish I had time to do that all the time. I wake time. up at like 6 or 7 every morning now, and on time, every time. So I guess the what I would say what gets me out of bed is music music because I wake up and that's the first thing I do is I put on music and I sing and I'll sit there and, and get myself ready and I just put myself in, in this mood and and I'll just be like doing my thing and, and then whatever is going on I just yeah I know it gets me going it keeps me going however I want to be going oh my god amen yeah. that amen. is something that I wish I would have it's really a good quality like music in the morning because yeah. that's how I used to wake up, and I don't do it much anymore. I do, I try to, but like, like I'm gonna call you and I'm gonna blast music with the phone. Just give me a song every morning to yeah. wake up to and, and be like, Laura. To you. Yeah, or Laura, this is what you're waking up you. to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can listen. See, my music is quite dismal and okay. it's, it's dark, and I that makes me happy. Some For some reason, it makes me happy. I like it now. That doesn't make me it. sad to think oh, that I know it's I not happy. I know I you listen to it too. Yeah, <laughs> no, but I don't know. All right, so another question. What have I not asked you? Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's think here. Hmm. Okay. What does Christine Mah? Honey, honey, my honey, believe that, oh God, there's so many deep questions I want to ask you. Okay. Like, oh, like have you <laughs> ever been, ah, she's hiding. <laughs> What's the question? Have you ever this? been in love? Yeah, I have. I've been beautifully in love. Hmm. Yeah, of course. Of course <clears throat> once, yeah. once, one time. Does it? One time. Was does it bother you? Like, does it? Is it hard for you to move forward from that love? Was his name uh, Eric? Yeah, but see, the same thing is that mm, I fell in love too easily, and I fell in love too fast. For love to ever last. I know, me too. I know. Um, no, for real though. I um, I have infatuations. I can do that. Love is something that takes time. It takes trust. It takes to where 
I feel safe and I feel protected and cared for and yeah and it's um and that person at the same time I know that I would protect them and I would care for them and it just takes a lot to because I'm, I'm, I'm you know this I'm very very mothering mm -hmm. motherly I'm extremely I mean how many times have I mothered the shit out of you? <laughs> you know, so it's like, I am. And, and so it's easy for me to fall in love for, you know, and that's why I don't, um, I'm very uh, sexually anorexic, I suppose. It's, oh my goodness. Yeah, you know, because I, I, want, I don't want those chemicals. I don't want them to influence me on, on my love and stuff like that. I want to really love somebody for, and then love me. Yeah. So, mm, yes, it's difficult because I need someone that can pull me out of me and and be able to hold me in that essence and be comfortable with all that Christine is because Christine is a lot. Christine is a lot. She is. She's a lot. She's like like she can barely like be held into this body. It's just so much. I know, I know. <laughs> Alright, so But more about them, it's like me, I'm I like me, but it's more about like do I you like, like you as much as I think the next person likes you, Christine, but I think that you don't realize your true value, like that you are, you are a star. Oh, thank you. You are. <laughs> thank you. You really are, and like, ever since I met you, I've, I've known that about you, like. No, I'm really blushing. And. And I know that you, like, have a really hard time with com compliments. Like, I remember when I told you you had the most beautiful smile I'd ever seen. And you honestly could not even look at anybody. Because everybody was saying it. The and they were like, oh, like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what do I do with all this? I know, I, I know, I know, I know. I'm just I like, know. do I just take it? Do I say, do I say, you have the best smile? And I'm right, because, like, well, do do here's the thing. Because some or people... Or say, they, no, just say, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Some people might say, yeah. thank you. Thank you. And then not you're smile. Right. But <laughs> you're like so, that. like, gracious and, and cute that you're like... Oh, my God. I, I don't know. I can't... Like, you, you, you just can't even take it. Like, it's... It's because, okay. It's, it's humility. And humility is yes. the most beautiful... Oh, my God. That is a beautiful... What's quality. your best... What's your most favorite quality... My humility, that I'm very, yes. very humble. I have a lot of humility. I'm extremely humble, and I find that to be, even me just saying that I'm extremely humble made me feel like I wasn't humble for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to I God. was just thinking that. <laughs> you were right. I was. That's how I felt. But I asked <laughs> you the question. Exactly. And then, it's so like, yeah, so then I gotta like go through it and be like, I like wait for a second. I'm like, wait. But yeah, no, that, that is yeah. <laughs> that I am. Yeah. I like, I like my humility a lot. And thanks and, for saying that too. Yeah. Uh, and I, honestly, I love my, my, my motheringness too. I love, I love that I'm so loving and so kind and so caring to people and that I really care about them and I really care about helping other people and, and being a support system for other people. I really love that. It makes me, um, that makes me love myself is when I'm able to love other people. Yeah. yeah. You're a mother. Like you. But I've always been like that even before Marilyn, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that's what I mean. Like you were, you were born to be a mother. You were always born to be a mother, Thank and you. she's a good, she's a good candidate for you because you're a good mother. Thank you. Um, she is. She's so, a, she's a great little student. I love being her teacher. She's like oh my God, I got to teach her basketball today. I was so happy. Even the oh, idea. I just taught her about. I taught her about flow too. Like I was teaching her about like you know because she's like how to, last time I was teaching her and the second time I'm gonna keep your arm behind your back so you can dribble, and then this time. I'm teaching her about dribbling and having the flow and the motion with the sound, with her, how the harmonics that she's doing in her head, and just be able to do that rhythm and gain that. So it's like that so many little wonderful. In it. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I can't believe that you have like a little miniature you that you're teaching all the little things that you wish you were taught. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Nobody ever taught it. Mm -hmm. Self-taught. <laughs> a lot of self-teaching here. You're so cute. <laughs> I love it. Um. All right, one last question. Let's see. Okay. This is pretty done. long, huh? Um, <laughs> all right, like Christine. Flashed. What? I know we've talked about like the last meal you'd want if you like when you were on your deathbed. 
Insure. <laughs> yes. Because I like liquid diets and I really am, I'm, I'm like, I don't, I'm very OCD about like what I eat. And so right. it would be like, it's something that's simple. It tastes good. It's horrible for you. And it's easy to go down and it's easy to come up when you're about mm -hmm. to go on death row. Yeah. So I think that's perfect is, that's is very true. a fucking insure. And it's, I mean, it's all the things that you want. I mean, mm -hmm. you want something that's not good for you because it tastes awesome. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it goes down easy, comes up. You know, when you're getting, yeah, you know, and and not only that, but you're, you're, that's your injection, you're gonna vomit on yourself or something, yeah. and it's not gonna Jeez. be like cheeseburgers or something. It's gonna be liquid. That it tastes crazy good. That it, you look at it, it so like literally. It that's... tastes it tastes just as good uh, coming up as it did going down. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. All right, but okay. but if you were to choose one meal, taste wise, taste wise, taste wise, and Christine, you need my help, um, Mrs. Madame. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have one more question. Okay. What is it? And this is really kind of. Intense. All right. What <laughs> would be your last words? Fuck you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It is absolutely. I love that. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna end it on that. Hmm, I love you. I love you.